Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from electronicspop.com Okay, if you saw my previous video I was uh, unboxing this Intel SSD 330 series uh, 180 GB and the reason that I bought this was to replace it with the hard drive in my uh, laptop because it's very... no, I don't want to say the F word it's very damn slow this laptop got a Core i3 at 2. 2.5 gigahertz and 60 gram and I'm using this laptop for a lot of uh, software development and I have uh, big sessions of uh, code compilation, compilation and uh, I think this SSD drive it, uh, will really help me so let's see how to do that I think the first thing is to uh, put the back to, uh, laptop on its back and uh, I think the best idea would be to remove the battery I don't want to I something to happen I don't think it will something happen but it's safer to remove the battery oh come on yeah it's coming out yeah but one thing that is very important is that uh, as far as I know a lot of uh, laptop companies laptop baking companies like Toshiba, Dell and other things other companies uh, are okay with uh, with users to change their uh, hard drive or uh, expand their memory so this kind of things doesn't void your warranty but if you damage something while doing this or break the socket uh, for the memory or break the socket for the SATA drive then uh, you're in big trouble so be very careful with that and uh, you, want, uh, you might want to ch check your uh, uh, Toshiba, I mean, uh, I am I mean your uh, laptop maker to see if they are okay with uh, changing these things by yourself. If not, then you have to bring it to their uh, retail shop or something that so they can do it for you. Okay, in this particular laptop, I think there's just one screw here that will uh, let us access the hard drive bay and the memory bay. Okay, so let's open this. Hmm. Well, I think this uh, this doesn't come out this uh, screw, so I think I have to go like this. Yeah. Carefully, I don't want to break anything. Yeah. I paid like 450 euros for this laptop. I paid for uh, the SSD drive. 110 euros so I expect a lot of uh, performance increase after this upgrade okay remove this one and here is it there's the old drive I think I have just to pull it out like this yeah easy okay it seems it has some sort of uh, protection uh, stuff here I'm not sure if I have to um, I have to replace this on my SSD drive it looks looks like some sort of shield to uh, prevent uh, EMI electromagnetic interferation from uh, from interfering with other parts of the laptop but because this is a magnetic drive and uh, has a lot of um, moving parts in it, it uh, I think it generates a lot of noise so that's why they shielded this but um, the SSD drive since it's just uh, using the NAND flashes flash chips and um, some controllers it has no magnetic part or anything it doesn't uh, doesn't make any EMI interference and I think because this particular one has a nice shield in it itself I think um, I don't need to do that but I will see. Maybe, uh, maybe the shield here will make the drive uh, to be more stable inside. So I have to try that. But first, I'm going to try it without that. Okay. <coughs> I'm just putting the drive here. Okay. Just slide it in. Hmm, let's see. No, 
now that's more like it but I can see a little bit of uh, movement here um, I don't know if I close the trap door it will fix that or not but let me just try if it was tickling inside it then I will uh, do something about it okay let's go okay. I think I have to start screwing this. Mm -hmm. Looks sturdy now. Then I will shake the laptop a little bit to see. Actually, I don't hear anything. Looks like that. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot something. I have to. Oh. Insert the battery first. Okay, it was like this. Okay, nice. Let's pop this baby on. Okay, let's hope that you will see the screen also. There he goes. Let's enter the setup. Press F2 to enter setup. Okay, let's see. Okay, CPU, okay. HDD, SSD, Intel, SSD, SCT, SC2, CT18083. So it has uh, recognized the SSD drive. Okay. Security, no power management, no. I'm looking for HCI, boot speed, normal, system configuration, I don't think, maybe it's there. Okay, PCI LAN, enable, okay. SATA controller mode, AHCI, I believe If you want the trim enabled on your SSD drive, you have to set it and uh, please get focus. Okay, you have to set your drive in AHCI mode. So I'm going to set it as that. And um, yeah, I think nothing much should be changed in the in the BIOS. Okay. Exit. Okay, now I'm going to bring my uh, Toshiba recovery DVDs and see if it can uh, install Windows again. Uh, okay. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Hey! This is my cat. Want to see him? Go! Go away, you have everything. Okay. So let me bring the uh, CDs. I mean DVDs. Okay, there we go again, guys. I have found my uh, recovery CDs that I was, I had made before. So one thing that I'm not sure about is that uh, these recovery CDs or DVDs are uh, meant to install these things and pre-partition a drive at the same si size of the original hard drive. The original hard drive ca that came with this laptop was 300 gigabytes and uh, I uh, previously used these uh, DVDs, recovery DVDs and what it does is uh, partitions your hard drive again with the same sizes so I'm not sure if it's gonna work with the uh, with the 180 gigabyte SSD drive, I hope it will work. But if not, then I have to install uh, Windows manually, and that's something that I um, don't feel for doing that. Okay, I'm going to boot up from the DVD. It may take a while, but bear with me. Oh, that's me.
Windows is loading files. Okay, waiting for ODD to become available. Okay. Going to choose, um, let me zoom in a little bit more. I hope you can see that. Come on, Tacos. Okay. Going to choose English as the language. Okay. I live in Netherlands, but um, for educational purposes, it's always good to have a. Okay. Okay guys, I think this will take a while, I will pause the video and um, we'll, uh, we'll let you know what, what happened, but I'm not really sure that it's gonna make it. Okay, stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back after almost uh, 25 minutes. Uh, the recovery media from Toshiba, I think it did its job. And now ask me to restart the computer. So let's see if the Windows comes up. I will remove the uh, DVD number two. Exit. Let's see what will happen. Oh, nothing? Maybe I have to turn the PC on myself again. I hope that the windows will come up again. Um, sorry for the reflect, I think it's because of the LCD of the laptop. Yeah, setup is updating registry settings. Sounds like a good progress. Should I be playing system settings? Again, restart. Turn off the light, maybe it helps. Hey, it's back on. Okay, I think these steps will also take a while, uh, so I will again pause the video and at the end I will let you know what's going on or what happened. Okay, so. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back again and it seems that the Windows has fully installed and I'm, uh, I'm going to give it some details about myself. Just the regular stuff, the country, the time and the uh, keyboard layout. Seems that everything went very smooth. But it took a while because I think uh, because of uh, the limit on the DVD driver speed. So I don't think that it was the fault from the SSC drive. So which country I'm? Oh, almost forgot. I'm in Netherlands. Yeah. Time and currency, Dutch. Where is Dutch? Dutch. It is cloudy. Okay. 
keyboard layout, US International. Oh, that's the best thing. Next, username Said. That's my name. Okay. Uh, I would love to rename my computer Amiga. Yeah, for some reasons that I will tell you later. Click on next. Password, I don't really need. Service pack one. Okay, go ahead. Just ask me later. Okay. West European time. Time is okay. And the uh, network add around. Security key. Key? No. I'll do this later. Okay. <coughs> Another restart. Oh, almost restarted like a thousand times. Let's see. Well, the most part of this story was the installing the SSC drive into the laptop. So, this is just some extra stuff that you might want to watch or not. Anyway, maybe it can help you later to do this on your own. Whatever. Am I recording? Yeah. Registration. I've done this before on the first time that I bought this laptop. I registered, so don't need for that. Again, some extra stuff. Come on. And the uh, the problems will come after because I have to install a lot of software that I use on a daily basis like Visual Studio 2012 and I also have to install Ubuntu because I'm programming some microcontrollers that they uh, they only can be programmed in a Unix environment uh, but I haven't actually looked at uh, the recovery media how uh, partition my drives I hope it uh, it has left some free space on one drive, so I can install um, Ubuntu. Okay, no more restarts. Ah, then I think I have to let the Windows update itself after entering the uh, wireless password from my university. Okay, if you're wondering what I'm watching on my PC, it's just lag TV for the reason that they lag always. This guy is really uh, have a big mouth. I mean, Maximus Black, if you know him. Okay, it seems that uh, it's divided my drive. In two partitions, I don't know if you can see. Okay, the first one is uh, this one here, the C drive, it's uh, 83 gigs, 84 gigs, and uh, the second one is also 83 gigs. So I think the second one I will uh, put it in half and uh, use like 40 gigs to install Ubuntu. So it went quite uh, smooth, I really like the process was easy and uh, everything was fine so thanks for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumb up and if you want to see more te technical stuff from me just subscribe I have a lot of projects that I'm going to make videos of and uh, yeah and one nice thing that I didn't tell you is that well, I think uh, already like a million of people have done this before. But I'm going to <coughs> do the unboxing of uh, Nexus, Google Nexus 7, 
tablet, the, the 32 gig version. And uh, this is not for myself, this is from university because I'm supposed to do some, some developments on this for some wireless sensor networks. That's another project. So uh, if you like, you can uh, check the unboxing of this thing. Then I will update you with the uh, Android programming for this tablet later. So, see you next time.